Walking through the way station, walking through the way station, a man in a mask, girl wearing a hat, a lot of people congregated outside the store. Let's see what they're selling. Guy drinking from his thermos, cups for three dollars, girl with a um, parasol, parasol, very Japanese thing, checking the undercup. Oh, beautiful. One thousand one sixty. Fujisan, I like that. Uh, what's that? I'm gonna scare her away. Uh, little buggies, people use these a lot for support. Let's see, what else we got? It used to be a McDonald's here, now it's gone. I used to meet my wife there when she was not my wife. Uh, summer's coming, little mini skirts coming in. Girls are all too skinny. Guy we're looking very suave, dressed well. Another one of those things, grandma's wearing those bags, those support holder bags. Guy with an American t-shirt, everyone wears American t-shirts there. You don't see people in America with like, Japan number one t-shirts, it's pretty funny. Oh, a tea shop. Even in this modern day Japan, you have old tea shops and a manju store, manju shop right next to that. And another, four traditional, five to all traditional shops on the, along, this, along this side here. And right across it, what do we have? A crepe store, very different. Okay, let's get out of here. Guy with an earring. Two girls in high school uniforms. I uh, don't know them. Why would I know them? Um, a girl that says here. A girl with a t-shirt that says here on her shirt. Am I going the right way? I don't know. Okay. And... Yeah, I'm going this way. I'm like... Vending machines for tickets. Here we are again. I enjoyed narrating just a few seconds ago. I'll narrate some more. A lot of people, oh, look at the woman who's not homeless who's carrying enough bags. Oh, Marvel, Marvel backpack. That is amazing. She could be homeless, uh, but she's dressed well. Everybody checking their iPhones here, waiting at this common area to wait for people. <laughs> people often gather here to wait for other people. Girl talking on her iPhone, and whispering into her microphone. People often meet at the clock there. Uh, let's see. People waiting for other people. I once saw three or two girls, two girls meeting a weird guy at a payphone back in the day when there used to be payphones. And they were obviously meeting for the first time, and I was pretty sure it was an Injo Kosai. Injo Kosai is when girls, Japanese high school girls agree to meet men for money. And who knows what happens after that, but you, you can use your imagination. Girl wearing fake glasses because it looks sexy. Wearing fake glasses, apparently. I forgot what it's called. De tamagene megane. I forgot what it's called. But anyway, let's see. Um, high school girls are often forced to wear their uniforms even on their day off, even when they're not at school. Doesn't that suck? Pretty strict here. Krispy Kreme over there. And yeah, I'm going into the JR. Take the JR line now. Let's go in there. I have a pass. Here's a guy in a wheelchair. I like to show that people are in wheelchairs in there. A lot of people in wheelchairs, but they're okay. Yokaichi ni kitain desu ga, sore yokaichi. Sakara. Juni ban nori bai. Juni ban. Hai, Let's see. Okay, it's always there. Yeah. Pretty much it's always Juni ban, but I like to check anyway. And another guy with a fanny pack. I'm really. I'm really regretting all the times I wore fanny packs. Okay, here I am walking through Nagoya Station again. A lot of people dragging their bags. I don't remember when that happened. Oh, look, a foreigner. Big butt foreigner. Um, I wouldn't point out the big butt. I guess you guys think it's normal if you live in, your, in America, but I mean, most foreigners do have big butts, small butts. Or no but Japanese have no butt or small butt. Matt, that it's a big deal. Why, why am I talking about butts again? Sorry. Okay, so. Let's see. Now I gotta go find the subway. Uh, it's a straight ahead. There's a little tiny old woman standing out in front. Just kind of droopy big boobs. Uh, being shallow here. Speaking of, here's some perky 
perky boobs, small boobs. Okay. There's a guy with pink on his t-shirt and bald. He looks like a, some kind of producer. Everyone's lining up to get their cake over here. I like a lot of delicious cakes here. What are they selling here? Let's go look. Is this manja? That's manja. Wow. 300 yen. Oh my god. 300 yen for a manja. This is 100 yen or even 80 yen. That must be some damn good manja. What's over here? Let's see what's happening over here. Oh, they're making the cakes here. See? Look at that. Making cakes now. Oh, yummy. That is pretty cool. Look at that. Look at the rolls they make, huh? Pretty weird, huh? Oh, they're cooking over here. I guess that's how they cook them. Cook the cakes up. Classy woman. Look at these. To stir the batter. Wow. Okay. Let's get to the subway. I feel like everyone's headed in my direction. Oh, a lot of bread over here. Some people told me that they thought bread in Japan was interesting. Oh yeah, Yoko, my wife. She said it would be interesting to do a video on bread. I'm like, really? I think generally speaking, Japanese bread is not very varied. The bread that they have is okay, but I don't know. I feel like they, they're missing out with, on uh, what we have when it comes to bread or cheese, I think. You're a much better. I'm trapped. These girls' high heels are so high. Uh, there we go. Some more high heels. But she can walk on high heels. It really bothers me when girls do not walk in properly in high heels. That's one of my pet peeves. You're not walking high heels. Oh my god. Doesn't matter how good looking you are. Not that they're out there just to, you know, keep me uh, thrilled or entertained, but still, you know. You know, there's a funny shoes. Okay, there we go. Let's see if she can walk in high heels. Ready? Uh, not bad. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Other pet peeves I have are people who wear sunglasses in the daytime when they don't need to. Like, why are you wearing sunglasses? You're inside, lady. Okay. Let's see. This guy, too. Look at this douchebag wearing sunglasses at night. This guy. Can't really tell, but. What's the rule about wearing uh, white pants after Labor Day? Or is it white shoes? It's white shoes, isn't it? Okay, I gotta get out of here. I don't know where I am. Probably better to just exit. Are in the middle of Sakai. I'm crossing on a red light because I like to break the law. Oh, one of my left, I see really tall, long legs. I'm not really looking, I know they're there. I'm not, I'm not being apparent there. Uh, we're gonna go to the right here. All the guys are so thin. Many of them wear hats and short pants like this guy, see? Got the way you gotta look. Yeah, a lot of you girls like that, huh? Oh, having fun, okay. This is the International Hotel in Nagoya, Koksai Hotel. I have a party tonight. Grab a drink at the local pub, which is kind of a gaijin bar. This girl looks awkward. Yes, she is a woman, a little bit too old to be wearing that much makeup and dressed that way, but who am I to judge? There's another one like that. Actually, she could be young, hard to tell. She looks tired. There's a lot of people hang out here. I used to, re I used to teach a rich housewife. Um, would meet her there sometimes. 23 years ago, 22 years ago. Okay, not that. Oh, well, this guy's wearing down jacket. That's weird.
Okay, this is one of my favorite mailboxes. If you can imagine someone having a favorite mailbox. Look at that. That's my favorite mailbox, huh? What do you think, huh? Fun, yeah? There's a guy shooting with a girl. The girl is squatting down there to steal electricity. She's charging her phone on that thing. It's Victor, give me a flake, man. One of the things I do on this channel is answer questions. I sometimes say answering your stupid questions. I recently, I haven't had time for, to do this, so today I'm doing it in the subway. So give me a live one. Today's uh, question comes from a guy named Chip, okay? He says he's 42, American, divorced, and his kid is all grown up. Congratulations, you're done. I'm not even, I, I never even, I'm working on that now. But. And for the last uh, 20 years, he's been working in the aerospace industry, mostly in senior manager positions. So you get the boss people around, you're fired. Um, let me see. Since middle school, he's had an interest in Japan and it's grown into a full grown obsession. Okay, good. Love obsession. I went to Japan on vacation 2012 and to, to, to decide if he wants to live there, which is a good thing to do. A lot of people are like, oh, I want to go to Japan and live there. I got a, a, an email today from a kid who's like, I'm 16 and I've decided I'm going to grow up and buy a house in some area in Japan. I don't remember where. And he wants to get his plans down for um, become a teacher. And, you know, he, it's the same. Like, these kids don't... Please, want, please go to gimmeabreakman.com and look, at, look through there. There's a bunch of... Uh, it's the same, you know, rehashed questions. I mean, you guys ask me the same questions again and again. Go over there if you have that kind of question. Anyway, so he says, uh, so he decided to live there. Uh, so he's, 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 he, he's decided he likes it and wants to come live there. Since then, I've tried to find work uh, in his industry. Uh, but because he lives in the USA and he, has, uh, he doesn't have a work visa and, and only understands basic Japanese, he has not been successful. Okay? So since his kid is going off to college and he's cleared off his debt, He's thinking about just up and moving to Japan. He's thinking, I'm just going to up and move to Japan. Well, that's noise, yeah? The subway's coming. So he watched a vlog. I'm trying to make a vlog here. No, no consideration. Japanese is so polite. Huh, not the subway system. Okay, here comes, here comes somebody back there. So he says, um, he watched a vlog where you stated that seemed cool. And if I remember correctly, you even stated that what you did. Huh? That's what you did. Back huh? now, and I'm uh, walking in between stations. Okay, so... Basically, this is the guy's deal. He's got four degrees and he's in his 40s and he's tried to get a job at a regular English school chain, but they all tell him that he's basically too smart. He's overqualified. And with four degrees, I would say, yeah, you're overqualified. Uh, so what you need, uh, but at the same time, you know, what are you going to do? How are you going to find a, how are you going to find a job? Because your Japanese is too low for you to get into the aerospace industry, at least right off the bat. Um, pretty tough so I guess I did take a leap of faith which is why he's writing me I mean I came over here with just some money and I just walked around looking for a job I knocked on on doors cold called schools you know I just called school hey you're looking for someone set up interviews and came in but I was in my 20 I was 22 23 this guy's 42 now I would not I, I would not uh, I would hire someone who's, who's that age if I needed someone I don't need anyone right now unfortunately um, that's a tough one. You know, usually in Japan, the way to get things is to know people. When you know someone, uh, you know, they can, uh, they can help you. They set you up with connections. Connections are everything in Japan. And I've gotten a lot of sweet jobs. Just, you know, years later, someone will remember me and say, oh, yeah, I liked him. And they'll hire me to do another job. For you, though, I don't know. It's kind of tough. I would say try to get, well, there's two choices. If you have the money, you could come over here and just go to a language school for one year, okay? And while you're at the language school, studying your ass off because, you know, you're way behind with the language. And 40s are harder, you know, it's, it's, it's older to learn language, but not impossible when you get older. So I would do that if you have the money. Without, that might cost you like $6,000 in just tuition, maybe 8,000, depending on where you go. In Nagoya, I think you can get one here for 6,000, one year's tuition. Then of course you gotta think of living expenses. Okay, I'm walking back to the school and instead of showing you my face, woo! I'm just gonna uh, wrap, wrap up this video with uh, just a little note of enthusiasm. Um, yeah, if you really wanna come to Japan and you're, you're in your 40s or your 50s, uh, then do it. I mean, if you got a college degree, you can get hired. It will be harder. It's a harder uh, struggle for you. Uh, other things, you know, pe people are human. People are naturally ageist. <laughs> I hate to say naturally, but it's true. People are ageists. Uh, people are, 
uh, bigoted or prejudiced or have, you know, they, dis they discriminate against people who are older, who are fatter, who are shorter, uh, who are uglier. Uh, but here's what you have to remember. If another person who looks like you, who is as old as you, who is as ugly or short or black or Hispanic or Indian as you, whatever it is, if you, if you know anyone who has done what you're trying to do, then that's proof that it can be done. There's a really, uh, a movie that I enjoyed quite a bit with Anthony Hopkins and Alec Baldwin. I forget what it's called. In, I forget what it's called, but it's about a guy who goes out into nature uh, with a guide and uh, and turns out that the guide is sleeping, sleeping with the, uh, the, uh, the, the guests. Um, okay, so this guy takes this rich guy out into the wild and there's grizzlies and shit. <laughs> anyway, turns out the, the guide is sleeping with the guy's uh, old rich guy's wife. Uh, who I think is played by... Okay. And that's about ends this mini clip of walking through the station. Okay. Old guy looking bedaffled and wearing a fanny pack. I guess fanny packs do look kind of stupid. But I don't care if they're holding something important. JR. Going to the JR. Oh, a guy wearing with one of those bags, huh? I guess it's just not an old woman thing anymore, huh? Hmm. All right.